Alright, so good morning ladies and gentlemen. Um, I had a failed attempt at making a video of me making a skirt, which turned out actually really well. Kind of sucks because I really wanted to show you guys that. But anyways, I have here in front of me um, pieces that you can make your own hair clips with. Uh, I get tired of going to the stores and seeing them and I'm like, oh those are really cute. I want one. Oh, they cost a lot. Mm, can't get one. Same kind of thing happens to me all the time. So, instead of wanting them all the time, I've decided to do something about it. I'm going to make my own. What I've done here is I've taken a basic bracelet like this here. That's broken. It's broken. You know, the clasp is all busted up. So, I was like, why waste it? I've taken a pair of pliers here. Needle nose, preferably. Um, if you have jewelry making pliers, it's probably even better. But mine are just from a basic toolbox. Yes, I own a toolbox and I love it. But anyways, I've broken them apart and I've gotten a fairly large hair clip. Um, I'm not sure if it would work with smaller ones because of the area where I'll be gluing, which is right here. Um, and I've kind of started one already because it's hard to hold the glue gun and film at the same time. That sounds like a good old third degree burn to me. Um, but anyways, it's pretty sturdy. Um, doesn't really move. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and glue the pink and then possibly another purple on there. Um, I'm hoping to get all three of those. If not, I will have to edit and do either two of one color or a pink and a purple. And I'm also going to be gluing this right here to this pink one because I think the colors go together great. And I might be making a gladiator one based off of these buttons here. Not sure what side I want to use. Um, these look like shields more, and then, and I don't know, I'll figure that out in a little bit here. Um, but I'm going to go to the store and buy some more hair clips, because I'm not going to have enough to make all the pieces I want. I want to make something with that as well, and then we'll have a vintage piece here. Um, stay tuned, and I guess I will show you the actual finished product. Probably should have did that already, because then I won't have to edit and chop videos together. <laughs> If I don't get back to you, um, it's really easy. Um, I'm just using a basic glue gun. I hope I inspire you to get out there and make your own stuff because um, it's more cost efficient. Now, as far as we get broken jewelry from, my sources are basically from flea markets. Um, some vendors have jars of them. You can get them there. I know um, you can also go to a flea market and buy jewelry that's really cheap and then break it up and do this as well. Okay, well, good luck, and um, maybe you'll see one of these featured in a hairpiece video <laughs> that I do eventually down there. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so these are the finished hair clips. Um, I think I'm going to be done for the day because I'm actually kind of hungry and I have some stuff to do. Um, yeah, I know. It's just not that big of an agenda right now, but it will be. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, I did my vintage piece here did one that I figured could be for a formal event that one is I don't know whatever and then that one is I guess as well whatever um, all of them you can wear them with you know whatever you feel comfortable with I know I've said that word about a thousand times so I will try not to say any more but um, I hope that you had some success in um, making your own hair clips and keeping them unique and uh, you know, I hope that you enjoy stuff like this. If not, that's fine. You know, try everything once is what I say. As long as it doesn't involve bodily injury. Uh, <laughs> but um, I guess I will get back to you guys later. And uh, have a great day. Bye.